So today I want to show you real quick how to make the dog stick with you and not roaming the house while you're doing something stationary such as cooking, being in the office, doing something on the computer and the dog is going to be with you and not away from you. So the way we do it is that if she is with me, she gets a treat. So this is going to get the place where good things happen. <clears throat> I'm not calling her, I'm not enticing her, it's just that she is here and she gets something good in that very place, especially if she pays attention to me. Important is that I feed her away from the place of treats itself, meaning that she shouldn't be fed if she's jumping on the desk or the counter, whatever it is. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but she's laying here, chewing on the treat. Longer, or I should say treats that are taking longer time to consume are of course helping to be in that very place for a longer period of time instead of having a fast consuming treat that is swallowed and then the dog goes. So a longer chewing treat makes the dog be in that very location here for a longer period of time. She doesn't like the cookie, so I'm gonna give her something different. And of course she has done that before, like being in that situation here. If there would be a brand new dog, I would possibly have the dog on the leash and prevent the dog from leaving that location here, just limiting the options. I can also introduce some particular behaviors I might want. She just sat there, so that produces a treat. <clears throat> See if she wants to perform a behavior in presence of the treat right here, which she just did on her own. I don't tell her what to do, she can just operate and obtain a treat by doing certain behaviors. So if I have that certain behavior, which right now is D-O-W-N, I don't want to say it, so I spell it, it produces reward, just like that. So which one would you rather do? Would you be a goofhead? Or would you be in that position that produces reward? Rest sleep, it's like the nice cold sweats of like how am I gonna pay payroll? But um, what I want to show you is the process that took us from sleeping on the floor to opening six locations and always being able to acquire more customers. So this is kind of
I pick up my phone to check messages. And if you lay down during the activity, you're going to get something good. And we extend the duration of that behavior that she self-offered and produce the reward for that behavior. The best is without the hand, just drop it between our feet. Behaviors are oriented in the direction the reward is coming from, so if the reward comes between our feet while laying down without my hand that really establishes a behavior to be preferred to do in that very location without saying anything. Well, I can do all sorts of things in between and the reward drops into the location that I want her to think of. Laying here and relaxing and waiting for the next piece to drop and I can extend the break in between the droppings so that way she'll wait and anticipate that eventually something definitely will drop. Just don't drop the food or the treat in a location to where she actually has to get up and get it. That would be the wrong thing to do. Now she's kind of pushing right here. So I'm just going to wait until she decides to do the behavior that has been rewarded before. And there she is. Laying there, getting the reward right between her feet. And now I'm gonna leave and she's gonna follow me. <laughs>